tabletop exercises are a wonderful tool to prepare for that terrible day when you might receive a cyber attack. If you Hey guys, Alex Riles here from Microwage. I'd like to introduce you to a new term that's not used enough in corporate America, and that is a tabletop exercise. Now, if you don't know what that is, it's simply a game or an exercise that leadership plays in order to prepare for an inevitable cybersecurity attack. Now, I'll get back to that more in just a minute, but I want us uh, to go back to general cybersecurity. So companies spend lots and lots of money to buy cybersecurity products to protect their network and their employees. In fact, we know that SMB customers tend to spend money on roughly 15 to 25 unique cybersecurity solutions. Mid-sized customers spend money on up to 25 to 50 different cybersecurity solutions and large enterprise sometimes has 75 plus cybersecurity solutions. That's a lot of money and investment spent to keep the bad guys out. And it's usually a worthwhile investment and absolutely something that people have to do because it's complicated. And we have lots of avenues of attack now from cloud and IoT and end users and corporate networks and external firewalls, the list goes on. The challenge that customers face though is when they're hit with an inevitable cyber attack, they sometimes don't know how to respond quickly or methodically. And that's what I wanna talk about today, tabletop exercises. It's actually kind of like a game. I enjoy doing these. You basically bring your CISO or someone like me from MicroAge in to host the activity for roughly two to three hours. We want to pull together some C-level, CEO, CTO, CIO, etc. We're going to want to pull in someone from mid-level management. We're going to want legal there, marketing, communications, certainly IT. And then when everybody's in the room, I'm going to pull up a slide that says, here's what just happened. We know that five laptops just got ransomware from our sales team, but IT caught it. And they're now in the process of taking those laptops off the network and we're going to rebuild them. So we think it's going to be okay. And I asked the room to talk amongst themselves about what do you do in response to that news? Now, some people are going to probably say, well, it doesn't sound like we need to do anything right now because IT's on it. They found the problem. They're fixing it. Hopefully someone in the room says, right, but what if it spread and we're going to find out about that later today? Should we do anything to prepare? So a few minutes later after they're talking, I'm going to interrupt and I'm going to say, uh-oh, alert. We just heard that 10 more laptops from the software development team have been ransomware and two of the software build servers are also impacted. We can't build code. We have a patch due to a critical customer at the end of the day. Now what are you going to do? And I let the room talk amongst themselves and someone says, well, we should just take the whole network offline so that we can prevent the spread. And then someone else says, well, what does that even mean? Our network's in the cloud and it's in three data centers. How do you take the network offline? Someone else says, well, maybe we should call our cybersecurity insurance company. And someone else says, no, 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 it's too early for that. Someone else says we should call the FBI and get some help. And then someone else probably says, well, but if we call the FBI, this might get public. So let's not do that yet. They might tell us we have to notify all of our customers and we're not ready to make that decision. Chaos. So I'll step in again at that point and ratchet up the pressure again by introducing some other crazy variable. The goal of the exercise is not to walk away with a nice pretty bow tied around the event. We're not going to resolve this in a clean, pretty way. In fact, for the very first tabletop exercise, I ensure it ends badly for the company. And at the end, we all circle around and talk about what should we have done that we didn't say we were going to do during the exercise. As an example, the very first thing you should do is pull out your incident response plan because you should have already pre-documented all the steps you're going to take to recover from that cyber attack, depending on whether it's ransomware or data theft, data leakage, an insider threat, etc. A lot of companies don't have an incident response plan. That can be the best outcome of a tabletop exercise is realizing you either need to build yourself an incident response plan so you know what to do without figuring out on the fly, or you realize we need to fine tune our incident response plan because we just thought of 10 or 11 things that we need to add to it. Tabletop exercises are a wonderful tool 
to prepare for that terrible day when you might receive a cyber attack. If you don't have the capability internally to write your own incident response plan, MicroRage has a service, we'd be happy to come help you do that. If you don't have the ability internally to run a tabletop exercise, we would be more than happy to come help you do that as well. I recommend people do roughly three to four a year. One a quarter can be a good exercise. Sometimes you have to do it uh, every other quarter if you have a large organization. So if you'd like help, we'd love to come in and do those for you. In the first one, I like to shake things up and have people play different roles that they don't actually hold in real life. And on subsequent tabletop exercises, I let them play their own role in an organization where they can think about how they personally would respond. They're a lot of fun. The goal of the whole thing is not to uh, avoid purchasing cybersecurity solutions to protect your environment. The goal is to prepare just in case the bad guy gets into the network so you have a plan of action and you can keep everything under control. I hope this has been helpful. I'll see you next time. Thanks.